Hey everyone, today we're going to be going through the process of taking our work from Substance Painter, all of the texture work, and bringing it into uh, another software like Maya and using V-Ray as the render engine. All right, so here I have two renders uh, from two different software, one being Substance Painter, one being Maya V-Ray, and as you can see, they look nearly nearly the same. There's like minor, um, very minor differences, but for the most part, uh, they're entirely the same. Uh, if I flip this on, this layer on, you can see that the left one is the Maya V-Ray render, uh, and then the right one is the Substance Painter using I-Ray. All right, so as you can see, uh, once we go through this setup, you'll have, pretty much you'll be able to take any textures that you do in Substance and have them look 100% uh, the same. Uh, in my V-Ray. All right. So the first thing is I just want to quickly cover the the model we'll be using. So this is the Meat Mat 2 model from the Substance Painter uh, competition that happened um, a couple months ago or back in February 2020. And what we're going to be doing is just quickly taking a look at the model, right? So this is already assuming that you've gone through the texturing process. So if I select this mesh, you can see that everything is ready to go for you. Everything's nicely unwrapped. And this is the model that we're going to be using to, to run through this test, right? Uh, not only that, but they've gone through and they've used uh, vertex normal painting here. So if I toggle, like if I select the head, go to mesh display, and then toggle uh, display color attributes, you can see that this is what they use to paint and create material IDs that were used to texture this model, all right? Uh, I'm not gonna be going through that process or anything, but I at least wanted to show you how this was set up. The other thing that you wanna double check is under UV, make sure that your UV set editor only has one map channel, right? Uh, otherwise, substance will, it, it may cause issues with your texturing, right? So just make sure that if you see another UV set, uh, that you didn't unwrap on that UV set, so you can always copy it here, and then I can just you know delete this and verify that everything is still working and behaves uh, as it should. All right. So then uh, all I'm going to simply do is you would simply do is just file, export selection, and then you're going to just export this as an FBX using the default uh, presets here. Okay. Uh, so if I go to Substance here, I already have the model uh, textured. Uh, I'll link down in the description below uh, the tutorial that was used for this. It was actually a tutorial from Wes McDermott uh, from Substance Painter. He does a fantastic job. Uh, so take a look at that tutorial if you want to know how to create what you see in front of you. But like I said, we're simply just going to take an already textured model and export it out of here. Okay, so this is how it looks like in the standard view. You can see, you know, I can turn on and off some layers uh, on how this was set up. Um, and ended up going through using these detail uh, anchor points here just to give some detail here uh, on these normal map uh, hard surface uh, insets, okay? So again, just real quick high level, go through the tutorial, take you through that. So I'll turn all of these back on. And then if I go to iRay, you can see that, uh, let's give it a second to warm up, okay, that, you know, you'll be able to bring in your model, uh, your texturing, and begin uh, viewing it using uh, iRay, okay. Now, I'm using a custom HDR, which is going to be the same HDR that I'm using in my V-Ray, all right. Uh, I got this uh, Urban Street 04 from HDRI Haven, which you can see uh, right here. It's just Urban Street 04 from HDRI Haven. Uh, I'm using the 4K one uh, if you want to specifically use this to uh, follow along. But I'm just using this as an example to compare lighting uh, between the two. All right. So, yeah, so everything looks good here. Texturing's done. So I'll get out of iRay mode, just so you can see how I created the render. And now I actually want to export the textures. So if I go to File, 
export textures, the main thing that you want to do uh, in our case, since we're using uh, V-Ray, is you want this to use uh, the V-Ray configuration. So if I scroll down here under Config, you see I can have V-Ray selected. Uh, what it does by default is just going to use the PBR Metal Rough. So, uh, which you can see here, the differences between all of the different output maps, right? Base color, roughness, metallic, normal, but to save us time so we don't have to invert maps and create custom maps, Substance Painter will automatically go through the process of converting those maps for you, as long as you select the right configuration. So here, under V-Ray, all I'm doing is showing you the different maps. Right now, we're seeing diffuse, reflection, glossiness, IOR, uh, height maps, normal map, emissive maps, okay? Now that we have the right configuration set, we can go ahead and export the maps. Uh, I've already gone through and done that. Um, and again, using V-Ray for configuration, and these are the settings that I used. Dilation infinite, PNG, 8-bit, dithering enabled, and then I'm using 4K resolution. It's gonna take it, you know, a couple minutes, a few minutes to do that since these are larger images. Um, but once it does that, this is what we see here, okay? So uh, it went through and it did it based off of the texture set that we have uh, for this Meat Mat uh, 2 model. And uh, we're just going to start linking all of these textures back in Maya. So this is what I mean by texture sets. We have the head, and we have the body, and the base. And each one of these are a different texture set that was exported from Substance. All right. Now that we've gone through and exported our textures from Substance, we can jump into Maya. And now we can start plugging in some textures, all right? So if I go ahead and open up our Hypershade, you can see that uh, I have three textures, each for the texture set, uh, which is the base here, the body, and the head, which is our texture sets from uh, Substance Painter. All right, so I'm gonna start with the head here, and you can see that, uh, I'll go ahead and grab the head and output connection. So I'm only looking at it here in the hypershade. And I'm going to start plugging in the textures, OK? I'll begin by selecting diffuse color. Go to File, select Image Name. And then I'm going to load diffuse head. Open. So it's going to go ahead and plug that in. So far, so good. Now I'm going to grab the uh, self, -illum self illumination. Now, because I have an emissive texture, that's why I plug in self illumination so we can get a nice glow and we can get nice lighting coming from that. And if you take a look here at emissive, you can see that it's just that waveform that was textured. There's nothing else that should be glowing, right? And that updates accordingly on a material. And now, if I go to reflection color, right, right here, that's where. Uh, file, we load file, and that's where I grab head reflection. Okay, so that's going to uh, be enabled here. Now, for each one of these three, right, I keep these specifically under the sRGB color space. All right, because they have a uh, this is part of the linear workflow. Now, where we need to change this is for the next three values. So, reflection glossiness. Because this reflection glossiness is a grayscale map here, so now I can load this head glossiness. I have to make sure that color space is now set to raw. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and update there. And then uh, I need to add Fresnel IOR, but you can see that it's grayed out and I can't do anything, you have to disable Lock Fresnel IOR to Refraction IOR, right? And so I have Fresnel IOR, File, and then I want to grab the IOR map. Once that's been loaded, I can go ahead and hit Raw and set to Raw Color Space, and then I can head back here and uh, we're good here. We are, of course, using the V-Ray material. And then the next thing I need to do is to use the, or plug in the normal map. So I go to map type, 
normal map and tangent space, map, file, and then I can plug in the normal map for the head. You can see that it's a tangent space normal map. This, of course, also needs to be set to raw. You always need to set these three maps to raw. So that would be the normal map, IOR, glossiness. The rest of them can be sRGB, which is reflection color, emissive, and diffuse here. Okay, so now that I have that, we can take a look at how this looks like in uh, V-Ray. Of course, before I do any rendering, I need to set up the lighting. Now, back in Substance, like I said, I use the HDRI Haven uh, environment here. So you can see that I loaded that in. You can just do File, Import Resources, and then you can import, add a resource uh, that you have. In this case, it's just this urban street. You would just tell it, make sure to set an environment, and then import either to the current session, the project, or just keep it uh, permanently into the project, right? So I'm using that exact dome, that HDRI, here. So I'm going to create a dome light. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize my hypershade for now. Use dome texture, dome text, grab the file. And then I'm going to grab Urban Street 04. Now, just I'm going to be bouncing back between the two. I'm in Substance now, and you can see that I have a rotation here set to uh, 151. So I want to set the opposite, or uh, minus 360, since we're using uh, it's a different, slightly different coordinate system. So on our dome light, what I mean is, uh, if I go here, V-Ray place, in instead of just typing in 151, I want to do 360 minus 151, which gives us uh, 209. Okay, this will be the exact same position uh, of what we have in substance. And again, I'm doing this just so we have the closest lighting possible uh, between the two. All right, so uh, I'm also going to jump to this camera that I have set up. So you can see under panels, perspective, C7 camera. All right. Now again, this doesn't entirely matter. I'm just doing this to get the same camera view and lighting. Um, all right. So I'm going to actually move this camera back uh, so closely, more closely resembles what we have in substance. All right. So once I do that, uh, you also notice that I didn't have to set up a V-Ray physical camera. I'm not using a daylight system, so I don't need a V-Ray physical camera, or I'm not using camera attributes. All right, so I will simply go ahead, kick off a quick test render, and there we are. So you can start to see that this is looking uh, more correct, or entirely correct, right? So I want to go through that process and link up the rest of the textures for the next two texture sets, which is body and base, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing here is load all of these textures. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm just going to speed through this, use a time lapse so uh, you can at least see me do this and use the same process here. So I've gone through and set up the map body. So now you can see that looks correct. And now all I have to do is the base. Um, one good thing I will show you is if you select map body, and you can see that I have all the maps appropriately linked, I can just go to edit, duplicate shading network. Okay. 
And then now I'm going to call this, or I'm going to reassign it first. So select objects with material format base. And you can see that it selects the base. And then I'll go ahead and reassign that to body two. And then I can just simply, you know, delete unused nodes. I'll get rid of that. And then I will do mat base here, right? And then I can just simply go through the process. Everything's already, they all have files. So this saves you a little bit of time. Uh, and then you want to just replace these with the proper one. So this is base, this is IOR. So I want to grab base IOR. Remember, IOR needs to be set to raw color space. I want to go to reflection. Okay, so reflection here, which is the reflection color. Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. I need the base reflection. Okay, and that one stays sRGB because that can have uh, tends to have color data. Uh, normal map, and I grab normal. I want to set that to raw again. Glossiness, base glossiness. Set that to raw. And then I want to grab diffuse base and leave that at sRGB. All right, so we have everything properly assigned. You can see here, if I go ahead and do a quick render, we should see everything start to come together really nicely, right? And all I did for the ground shadow was simply use a V-Ray plane. So under create V-Ray, I can go under create V-Ray plane, and then I can go ahead and kick off another render. Um, and once I'm happy with how everything looks, I can take that into Photoshop and compare the two. Right. And then if I wanted to, I can, of course, create a V-Ray material and assign that to the V-Ray plane. So I'll call this mat ground. And I remember specifically that value was a uh, 0.017 and uh, hue zero. So hue and saturation zero. And I can select V-Ray plane, apply mat ground to that. Move that over here. Quick render again. And we will now verify that everything looks correct. Great. So it's starting to look really good. And then once I'm happy with that, right, we can see how everything has been properly assigned. The most important thing here, you guys, is the color space for the maps, right? Uh, making sure that you're properly exporting from Substance, making sure that you're setting the right color space in Maya and V-Ray, and just making sure that the maps are properly linked. Uh, and then now I can change the lighting. I can do whatever I want to this, and it'll it'll be uh, physically correct, right? So we're using physically based textures, rendering, shading, all that good stuff. So I can change the lighting, and everything will look correct. So back in Photoshop. Here is where we end up, where we have the I-Ray render and the V-Ray render, uh, and it looks exactly as it should. All right. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I may be looking into making a tutorial for actually using the Substance plugin uh, in Maya, uh, but that's for specifically like using the Substance materials instead of the textures. Uh, in this case, all we wanted were the textures, right? So we don't have to worry about uh, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, I can help out uh, where I can. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.